Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Orbital Takes. We got a big episode this week. Today is Wednesday, July 13th. Pat, what's good? How you doing? I'm doing great, Chris. This was a killer week for space, was it not? I can't remember of a, uh, a better space nerd week that also uh, we'll talk about, you know, has made it into the mainstream. So I, I'm, I'm on cloud nine, man. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Never in my life have I seen so much space content on my social media feed. I love it. You know what I mean? Like yeah. the deep field images coming out. All right. Where should we start? Okay. Why don't we start from yesterday, uh, which was Monday. They came out randomly and they said that the president of the United States is going to unveil the first image from the James Webb Space Telescope. When we heard that news, we all freaked out, right? Basically, we're all panicking. We we're like, oh, the time is now. What's it going to be like? You know, we we're all really excited. You guys know how much we've been talking about this and how big of a deal this has been for the past couple of years now. And the moment was there. How should we explain what happened, Pat? Where do we start? We need to get the prices right. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bum. All right, so I, I guess... I guess I could start the story here. So they tell us five o'clock Eastern time. We all hop on at five o'clock. They push it back to five 30. We all, there's like 150,000 people waiting in the lobby on YouTube for NASA and the president of the United States to go live and show us what they promised. Right. 45 yeah. minutes goes by where nothing happens on the live stream besides a continuous loop of some dance song. What song was that Pat? I don't know, man. It's a, it's a banger. It's a banger. <laughs> yeah. Now, now it's like the, the, the in NASA my, elevator music. <laughs> well, it's imprinted in my brain forever. We're yeah. all sitting there for 45 minutes with our thumbs up our asses. We have no idea what's going on. Nobody tells us anything. Finally, they start it. It was a shit show from start to finish the president of the United mm -hmm. States. I mean, so first the vice president said something, the president then sent something that, and their words to me, you can tell me if I'm wrong here. They meant nothing. It clearly, they were just reading off of some script and yeah. that, that almost pissed me off because if they weren't going to be really like ecstatic about it, why can't you find somebody that will be, you know what I mean? Cause that was the yeah. moment that we all waited for. And that really pissed me off that they just read off this teleprompter. And it's like, we see straight through that bullshit. So that was my first yeah. problem with it. So Biden passes it then. He didn't, Biden didn't show us the image. They put it on the, uh, a smart board. They didn't even show us on the full screen. And then after that, Bill Nelson takes it. And Bill Nelson's kind of stuttering at first. He doesn't really know how to explain it. It's almost like he wasn't even expecting uh, Joe Biden to throw it to him, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> it, it was like, uh, I got so pumped when I was like, oh, man, all right, cool. Biden's going to Biden's gonna speak. He's going to like drum up a whole ton of interest i mean it's the president of the free world you know leader of the free world yeah. president of the united states like talking about space like that's a big deal yeah and yeah it was just a snooze fest man yeah. they just it, i wish they would have just waited for today to to you know they it's I almost feel like they stole today's thunder a little bit yeah uh because yesterday and rightly so social media was blown up for this awesome deep field image like it's awesome um i i, I was watching it with my boss and he was like, you know, kind of like, oh, like, haven't we already seen this? And I, you know, you, you're explaining, well, yes, we, we have, but it's a different telescope. And like, I almost, I almost wonder like whether or not they should have released that one first. Um, but, but yeah, I don't know. What are your thoughts? Pat, you absolutely nailed that on the head. And I think the only reason they did that so that the press can write Biden unveils this image, right? And it's, it's all mm -hmm. across the internet. I thought it was ridiculous. And how about the ending when... We didn't even get any real information about this photo. They barely showed it on the screen. And then they're like, all right, now the press can leave, please. And we'll continue the briefing. Like, what the fuck are yeah. you guys talking yeah. about? Like, what? why yeah. is the press leaving? That's why you invited the press there. Why can we not understand what's going on? Yeah, here? yeah. It was I know. bananas. And, and uh, uh, Vice President Harris, the head of the Space Council, you know, is there and, and rightly should be, you know, kind of. It, it felt like she didn't even really understand like the gravity of the uh, no pun intended uh, yeah, the uh, the gravity of the situation because yeah. um she was like like you said kind of a reading like a a, a, a pre uh you know arranged script she was mm -hmm. like your all of your hard work has led to this moment like okay that could be for any speech like mm -hmm. you could you could read that for she didn't mm -hmm. and all of your hard work and your organization and it's like yeah she wasn't even into it, it, it that's mm -hmm. what it seemed like to me anyway it, it was so crazy they did that and it really did ruin their debut image for me so obviously they unveiled 
the web deep field image of let's see what the official name is here. So smack something. Right? Yeah. Smack. So smacks 0723, smacks. which is an smacks, incredible smacks. image. <laughs> yeah. Right. But uh, it's an incredible image, but yeah. they, they didn't unveil it the correct way. It was so right. far away. I couldn't even have that moment that I wanted so bad, Pat. I wanted this moment yeah. where I could just have it and just be like, holy shit, this is it. And I couldn't even see what the fuck I was looking at. Yeah. So, so I know. Yeah. They, about that. Yeah. They unveiled it on the screen behind everybody and didn't even <laughs> like, you know, take over the, the main camera to show you. You're like, no. wait, what? What? No, 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 no. Wait, is that the Hubble Deep? Field? Yeah, no, it's it's kind of different than the Hubble Deep Field. Uh, it looks similar. Like, what is that? Yeah, when we was... first got that image, that was my initial thought. I was like, is that it? Because I think I've seen that. You know, I have uh -huh. guys. I have every photo on NASA's website downloaded for my screensavers, right? And I'm not afraid to say that. Like, I have pretty much almost every Hubble photo ever taken downloaded. I've seen them all. I was almost positive I saw that photo before from yeah. a distance, but then. When you bring it closer, Pat, mm -hmm. shit, shit. Yeah, you see all the gravitational lensing and like, wow. yeah, it's 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 truly incredible. And they just they they blew it. <laughs> I feel yeah, like yeah. they blew it. Yeah, and um, Bill Nelson should have never used that grain of sand analogy to start with. Everybody's been using that, and and, and I do like it, and I just used it in my previous video too. But I do think that you need to come up with a better way originally to, to get people like to hook people in on that. Right. Like he opened up with that. He goes, uh, so Biden was like, so explain this to America. And he goes, if you take a grain of sand and you lost everybody already, you know what I mean? Like you yeah. don't even, you lost everybody. Old, old white guys should not be our hype men for this stuff. You know, like, <laughs> that's why, that's why we're here, babe. Yeah. Well, then true, true. Young, yeah. young white guys. <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, oh, shit, I'm almost turning 30 next year, but fuck. I mean, it, so that was the moment that, I mean, everybody, any space fan was watching it. Even if you weren't a space fan, I know a lot of people that watch it. We all thought the same thing. And I'm so happy that I uh, made a story last night and I just fucking vented it out because everybody agreed with yeah. me. Like nobody yeah. watched that and like came away from that being like, that was great. Everybody hated yeah. it. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, today was different, like I said, <laughs> like I said, I was watching it with my boss and he was just very like, oh, well, well I mean, okay yeah. cool like because he he's into you know uh big celestial stuff and so like we talk about this stuff quite a bit and he was just like oh like oh it, it was it supposed to be released tomorrow yeah, yeah but there's this cute, cool announcement from the president and then we just yeah they they, they fumbled yeah. at the one yard line you know uh, however today today's presser was very different and they should have just done this from the beginning yeah it was a little bit different today you could still see nasa doesn't have their shit together i mean i don't well, understand yeah, that's another great point spo is like this is par for the course for nasa unfortunately like you know <laughs> uh, the sls rollout not letting influencers go to that originally for some reason like yeah they, yeah how about that yeah yeah. And then, um, so yeah, today was a little bit different. It was a little more smooth. There were times on the live stream where like you heard the, who was that? Whoever was leading the show there, you heard her like talking to somebody in her ear a couple times. Mm -hmm. And then there's all these awkward moments where like, you know, they're clearly trying to involve other people like with cameras. So they had cameras like set up all over the world and then it was all delayed. It just didn't really sync. Right. But yeah. The images and the science, Pat. Let's focus on that. All right. Fuck, yes. Let's fuck yeah. NASA's, let's let's know, turn the page team. on the on the PR bullshit and yes. let's talk about the incredible science and images that that were released yesterday. Absolutely fucking incredible. And I don't think it's even fully hit me yet. When I'm zooming in, if you go online, guys, and you download the uh, deep field image S Max. Uh, onto your desktop, you can really zoom in with 4K, maybe even 5K, I think some of these pictures are, and zoom all the way back. My favorite part of this image are those dots all in the back because that's the furthest light that we could see. Mm -hmm. And like, I, I like the gravitational lensing and I really like some of these galaxies, which we'll post in a minute. But my favorite part is zooming into the very far back and seeing those dots there because whatever's behind, like whatever's on those dots, that's the first light. Thoughts? Right. Right. Yeah. The thing, my, so my favorite, my favorite part was the Southern ring nebula. So I used to have that as my phone background yeah. and uh, to see the level of detail that they were able to bring out. Uh, it's like not even the, it doesn't even almost count as the same image anymore. It's so much yeah. more detail. Oh my God. Uh, you know, the, the image I have behind me here, uh, uh, I can't recall. Do you remember the, the name of this, of this one? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, that's called the uh, NGC 3324. It's the uh, Carnia Nebula. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. 
Uh, so the Hubble one of uh, image of, of this same nebula, it doesn't have, it, it's, I don't know, 25% of the detail that this has. It's, mm-hmm. it's so in, insane. And I, we, we all knew that this was going to bring some eye opening and mind blowing images, but I guess I never thought that we would see this clear uh, imagery and it's obviously sees in infrared and a ton of filters have been applied for it and, uh, yeah. to it and everything to get these images. Like our human eye doesn't, literally see this in space you know Mm -hmm. um but that being said like the level of detail that has been brought out just it's it's incredible and that's the that's the difference of the uh the mirror size right like that's Mm -hmm. why the they sent this huge freaking mirror up there that had to fold up yeah so which one of these photos or which one of these images made you say holy shit for me I think it first came when I saw the galaxies. So I didn't really, like, for the first couple images, I was kind of like, oh, wow, oh, wow, wow. But when I saw the galaxies, the five, the four galaxies merging together mm-hmm. with the fifth on the bottom, mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. is when my mouth opened and I was like, oh, this shit's different. Like, that was the moment for me that I was like, oh, my God. Unfortunately, I couldn't have that reaction because the uh, deep field image was too far away. I probably would have had it for that, but that was my first, like, holy shit. What yeah. about you? Uh, my, mine was uh, the the Southern Ring Nebula, definitely, yeah. uh, just because I know that one so well. But my second one was was the same one you're talking about, of mm-hmm. the, four, the five galaxies interacting with each other. Yeah, and in the Southern Ring Nebula, they said something about, if you look in on the left there, right by that ring, there's a galaxy peeking in there. And I thought that was so cool. I mean, this is such a beautiful image. Do you want to explain a little bit like what we're seeing here? So yeah, it, it, the Southern Ring Nebula, it's it's interesting. It's like, uh, they call it a planetary nebula, um, which is kind of um, uh, misleading, right? Because it's not really anything to do with planetary anything. It's a it's a dying star. Uh, yeah, I noticed you know, that. Uh, but th- that's what they call the stuff or nebulas um, for one reason or another. But yeah, it's essentially just like a, a scar, a, a, the carcass of a star that blew itself out you know, uh, billions of years ago. And we're seeing the remnants of it, you know, continually expand uh, throughout time. It's so And they, they, they've been observing this same uh, nebula with the Hubble for, for years oh. now. And it, yeah, like, like I said, like I mentioned earlier, just to see the, uh, you're able to bring out so much more uh, gas and dust uh, with, with that, that huge mirror. Yeah, so this is approximately 2,500 light years away. That's not too far either. No, no, not in the grand scheme of things. And it's been shooting out this gas and dust for thousands of years in all directions. And guys, I mean, it's just such a beautiful photo there. I thought the, um, so we also got something about an exoplanet. So we looked into WASP-96b where they found, uh, they didn't really show us an image about it, but we found water vapor over there. That's fucking wild. Yeah. Yeah, I thought we were going to actually see direct images of, of a planet surface, an exoplanet surface, and I think we will. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we have to remember these are just the first five images yeah. that have, have been released. Mm-hmm. Uh, how many thousands of Hubble images have been released over the years? Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it's cool. Like We're able to to pick out water paper, and it's like, yep, like there's, there's possibilities for life out there for sure. Mm-hmm. I was wondering why did they do that, and why, like, I feel like it wouldn't be too challenging to find a nearby exoplanet and point the James Webb telescope at it rather than WASP 96B. I mean, I don't really understand why we chose that one. It's kind of like Jupiter. Yeah, I think they they did it to uh, kind of a, as a demonstration of like, mm-hmm. hey, we can look at the we've long suspected that this has yeah. water vapor and yeah. this is confirming that. Uh-huh. Uh, so I think, you know, uh, the uh, Kepler uh, 32B, um, you know, that's it, uh, around, what is it? Uh, Proxima Centauri or, or wherever mm-hmm. that is. I, th- I imagine that they'll do uh, images of those somewhat soon mm-hmm. uh, so we can you know hopefully make out you know it, it's, it's never going to be as clear as taking like a, a photo of jupiter from from the hubble right but you mm-hmm. know even if we can make out you know what color the planet is that would still yeah. be so dope speaking of jupiter i don't know some rumblings online pat people are saying they might drop a jwst image of jupiter this thursday that's what i yeah. heard have I you mean, heard that, that- uh, that yeah, that would be super cool because uh, so we've clear. seen we've seen some uh, infrared images of the outer planets. Uh, yeah. I'm thinking of one uh, that's of Uranus, mm-hmm. which actually you can see the rings of Uranus with that. So yeah. I think that with JWST, we'll also be looking at, at the ice deep, uh, uh, the ice giants out there because that's what most exoplanets are like are like Neptune and Jupiter, uh, ne- Neptune and Uranus. I'm sorry. I love um, that. So, and we really know nothing about the, that kind of, that kind of planet. So, you mm-hmm. know, using this 
to observe within our own solar system is still going to be uh, yield a, a ton of, of new uh, new data. I think I think that is arguably yeah like we're it, people aren't realizing that our solar system is like we're going to be seeing shit clear with the James yeah. Webb Space Telescope. Yeah. All right, here we go. We're going to play a game of Chuck fucking Mary with the five new James Webb uh, Space Telescope images. Do you want to go first? Or you want me to go first? You go first. Okay. So number one, I'm going to chuck the star forming region NGC three three. Two four the nebula. I don't know why. For me, like I, it it doesn't do enough for me. I don't know why. Like I feel like it needs to zoom out a little bit. I want to marry the the James Webb deep field image because I I love looking at. Like I've been looking at it all day long. I have not stopped sharing it. Like I can marry that. I could spend every day of my life with that image. And what image do I want to fuck here? It looks like I want to fuck. Uh, no, you know, it's, it's the interacting galaxies. I mean, I've never seen galaxies that clear merging together like that. I mean, as you can see, see, galaxies don't really die. They just continue to merge with other shit. And I think, I think that's so cool. So there you go. So mm-hmm. I will uh, chuck the star forming region. I will marry the deep field and I am going to bang the interacting galaxies. <laughs> what do you got going on there? All right. I'm going to chuck the uh, the deep field uh, because Whoa. it was such a womp womp um, for me uh, personally. Uh, just the, the the revelation of it, like we talked about. Not that I don't think it's mm-hmm. it's cool, but like it's so similar to something that we've already seen. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm going to chuck that one. I'm going to I'm going to fuck the um, the one behind me here. Um, <laughs> uh, the I. Uh, I, I love it's like a it reminds me of the pillars of creation almost and oh, yeah. I just love seeing like the celestial cliffs um like I don't know it's it, it, obviously no real cliffs these are all gas and, and dust but yeah and then I'm gonna marry uh my my long time love the uh, southern ring nebula yeah, <laughs> it's like it's my longest lasting relationship uh, for planetary nebula that's incredible I love that <laughs> I love that so there you go that's Chuck fuck I mean look great scheme of things we, we love all these images you know what i mean but uh, there's gonna be oh yeah it's like choosing out. your favorite child like yeah. it's they're all they're all my favorite um yeah, yeah we're, we're splitting some hairs here yeah i just i am just so pissed at yesterday like it just is such a i know fucking man. Letdown, they had man such a golden opportunity and they uh-huh. just blew it in my opinion not only that what's up with the desks why were they all like like assembled around the room like we, some type of i was asking rangers. the same thing like, i was yeah we were asking the same thing and we're like covid like uh, yeah it looked like it kind of looked like a like a power ranger hq where you go and get you like, <laughs> you're like briefed in there before they go like go, go do a big world mission or some shit like that you know what i mean i guarantee you and i'm not talking shit about the administration i guarantee you the vice president and the president had no idea what the fuck was going on they had no idea the significance of this i get it you know they are they're not like space haters at the same time you're going into that situation. We, you have 170,000 live viewers. You got to be better than that. Also, they had a preview on YouTube on James Webb's page of Optimus Prime, like saying his voice. And he was like, uh, I can't wait for Tuesday or something like that. They didn't even use him. I'm wondering if he like something happened with Optimus Prime and like he wasn't allowed to go there or something. Maybe that's why they were mm-hmm. late. Yeah, what did Biden say? Right? What, yeah, why did he say he was like he was like yeah, he was like because he was packing? Like, what the yeah, he was like, talking? oh, I'm getting ready for my overseas trip, and it's like, okay, <laughs> like the then like why like why are we doing this then? Like you you didn't even yeah I yeah. I, I couldn't agree more, and everybody else <laughs> totally agrees with us. It was bananas, and NASA desperately needs new media in there. They desperately need more hype, man. Don't worry, have no fear. Orbital takes is here, baby. I'm we excited. will be the hype men. Yeah, we have to be. Wait, the funniest shit you sent me was when we were all waiting for the uh, the the presser to start. And what's that? What's <laughs> yeah. that meme that you sent me? Yeah, it's like the uh, the guy and his girlfriend, and he turns around like looking at another chick's butt, and it's uh, uh, the the chick's butt he's looking at is the booster seven uh, <laughs> uh, uh, explosion, and his girlfriend is like the JWST first images. Because yeah. Uh, yeah, like we're all like sitting there waiting, and it's like, oh, what's going on down at Starbase? Like, oh my god, like this giant explosion from booster seven, like because they're do- starting this test fire campaign, yeah. which was unexpected and super cool, and I hope it didn't you know mess anything up too badly. Mm-hmm. I think that this is a big step for humanity. Ultimately, Pat, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little let down by, like, I really thought that this was going to be the moment that everybody in the entire world, 
immediately becomes like in love with space, kind of like we are. I kind of feel like this moment is coming and then it's going mm -hmm. and we might be searching for something like this for a long time. Thank God we have the orbital launch soon. But like, do you feel that mm -hmm. way too? Like, do you feel like we, like it's not what you really did hype it up to be? Yes and no. Um, I am uh, floored by the uh, mainstream media picking up on this, uh, which I knew they would, but like I was just watching uh, right before this, I was watching two different news channels and they were both talking about it mm -hmm. um, at, at the same time. Um, and then I had so many people on social media reach out like, oh my God, have you seen this? Uh, by the oh, way, yeah. of course I've seen it. Of course I've seen it. I'm a space nerd. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's when things like this make it into the mainstream, um, that's always good for, for the space industry, right? It, mm -hmm. it gets people excited and whatnot. Um, I see what you're saying, like that it's, it's going to be a fleeting moment. Um, so I think, you know, hopefully we can see some kick-ass pictures um, of Jupiter on Thursday. And hopefully they don't take uh, a long time to release more images like this. Yeah. Uh, because, yeah, when when uh, you think of the iconic Hubble images, these are going to be the, even better than that. Mm -hmm. So it's I, I think people truly are excited and seeing yeah. some of the people um, who you know liked uh, my story and sent me stuff like are not space people at mm -hmm. all. They're just like. Oh my God, this is so cool. So, mm -hmm. um, yes, I, I th this is our moment. It is passing us by already. Um, but, uh, right. I think, I, I think there's more to come. Yeah. And the best is yet to come. I mean, we're just getting started here. I mean, let's see where we go. I, I any, I, I don't know where the list is of scientific targets, but it's a long fucking list. And yeah, I'm excited. I mean, they, N NASA and James Webb should come out with a better way to release these images to the public. Like maybe like on like a Friday, maybe not a Friday afternoon, but like choose one day of the week. And then every week you give us something new, have, you know, all your ducks in line, give us an organized press conference with, with none of the bullshit, just, you know, smoothly introduce it to us. I, I, Pat, I hate the most, when they they like they continue to hype it up and hype it up and it's just like just show us the image and then talk about it you know what i mean like i don't want to yeah. go through all like all yeah. that other shit but um yeah. yeah we're just getting started here i think i think it's gonna be great yeah yeah i would they they could take a uh a leaf out of the uh, event horizon telescope book um where i think they do those guys do a good job of um of hyping it and explaining it um to the average the average person mm -hmm. we'll see what happens there yeah. you go james webb telescope images officially out now we'll put the link in our description if you guys want to go and download the images and read more about them and really get into this i mean guys go smoke something and just look at this image i mean it's crazy if you don't smoke something drink a coffee look at this image it is insane i mean we're literally looking back in time no humans have ever seen this before and i think mm -hmm. that that is just like the coolest thing ever we're so lucky to be alive right now we're also so lucky to have you guys as listeners orbital takes for sure we love you guys yeah thank uh, thanks for following us guys don't forget to hit us up on uh, instagram and tiktok and youtube uh follow me at face at space flight hub um and uh at astra at astra guys see you next week